Hey, that's Slot Car Guy here, and welcome back to another Slot Car Review. And if you're a follower of mine on Instagram, I posted the picture of the car that I was reviewing today, so you'd already know who it is. It's a UK-based slot car company. The scale is 130 for this car. Who is it? Stick around and let's unbox it, tear it down, and review it together. So welcome back to another slot car review. And as I said in the intro, if you do follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of the car last night, which I couldn't help myself because it is such a beautiful car and it's very unique. Who am I talking about? Who am I reviewing? Well, it is Pioneer Slot Cars. I truly, truly love this company. I think they do some unique things. <laughs> Exhibit A, look at this little Chev. Um, as I did say in the intro as well, it is a 130 scale replica, a run 30 scale. So not 132, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but look at that. Isn't that one of the most unique slot cars you have ever seen? And of course, it's in the beautiful Golf livery. Now let's have a look at the actual box art itself. I love how they've got some artwork here of the car. It's got that 1950s feel to it. So not only did they produce a beautiful slot car, the packaging is one of the best I've ever seen. So let's zoom around, clear on both sides as per usual. But let's look at the back. And I like how they've put the uh, 1950s guy, like, hey guys. And he's telling you a little bit about the series itself. Uh, and these cars, interestingly enough, run a Yamaha motor, which I think is pretty cool. So it's all about setup in this series. Now, funny enough, and I don't have a picture of it, we actually have one of these Legends cars for sale in Melbourne, Australia at the moment, uh, which was quite funny to see because I was about to review the car and there's a one real one-to-one -one scale for sale. So I'll read the blurb quickly at the back. So back in the uh, 1930s and 1940s, they ran Ford, Chevy, and a Dodge version. And as I said, they used a Yamaha engine and all identical parts and components. So it was a car setup series. So I absolutely love how they've replicated this. The engine work on this car is incredible. Once we zoom in, I'll show you some more, but how good does this box look? Oh, it's, it's worth every penny just for the actual sleeve itself. Now, I'm getting too excited. Let's flip underneath. Here's our reference. We are P062. It's Legends Racer Chevy Golf number 69 for those playing at home. And there's all the website and details uh, based in the UK. As always, let's get stuck into a teardown. And yes, I will put this around the track because it does go very well. It's quite a unique car and I would love to see this thing fly around my track. So let's do a teardown, have a look at the car, then give it a, a, a shoot around the track. Right here, let's get stuck into this teardown and review of this absolutely beautiful looking slot car. And look at it on its original base. It, it is a unique looking thing. I really do like it. And as always, got the Harrell RS slot car piece of track to put the car on during the teardown. Before we do the teardown, let's take a little tour around the car itself. Of course, the iconic Golf livery executed beautifully by Pioneer. Real high gloss shine on it. It's, the paint job is incredible. And as I turn it around, you will see how nice this car has been finished. Beautiful big golf sticker on the front. I do love a golf sticker. Nice racing stripe finish with two black pinstripes beside it. It looks incredible. Now that front grille, let's get a bit of a zoom in. Nice bit of chrome work on that front grille. And these front bumper bar or crash bars, they are removable as well, front and rear, but we'll get around to the rear in a minute. Let's see if we can see that motor. I don't know if we're going to, but I'm going to pop it up. You see a little bit of uh, carby work in there on the or is that extractors? That might be the extractors. I'm going to see if I can get zoomed in there. So you can actually get a bit of a little look at the motor. And on this side, I think we're going to have the side drafts that are viewable. There you go. The two side drafts. So that's pretty cool in a slot car form that you can actually see the motor. Um, so really, really well executed by Pioneer. Love the pump guards at the front. Very uh, V-Dub buggish. If you're a V-Dub fan, this is up right up your alley. But this is a replica of the Legend series as I said in the intro, uh, the 1930s and 40s with the Yamaha motor. Keep turning around, car number 69. And while we're at the front, let's look at that bit of mesh work on the front windscreen to stop all the mud from coming in with this beautiful BF Goodridge sticker in black on that orange strip. So they've really gone all out on doing the decals on this. I like it. Uh, golf livery decal with the flag. And what's the other one say? And number 69 again on that front um, guard. Of course, no lights. This is a race car. Round to the passenger side, number 69 again. 
another little sticker. Is that a bell sticker? Yep, bell sticker down the bottom left hand corner. Let's move around to the back. We've got in the back window, you'll see some bar work, some black bar work, which is a bit of the uh, support of the car and also roll cage work. I'll see if I can get a good zoom in on that. Because it's, it's black, you might not be able to see it, but there's three bars there. And in that back window, you can also see the fire extinguisher. I do love those little touches. Again, the removable um, rear bumper bar that comes out once you do the uh, tear down. And we've got the continued drive down to the back with the golf livery. And what is that, number 69 again? Yep, number 69. Really beautiful looking slot car, executed perfectly. Now the figure himself, he's a quite a big figure in there. This is a 130 scale slot car, not a 132, which does make a difference. White helmet, red jumpsuit, and you won't be able to see it, but inside there, there is a little bit of interior work going on. So they've got, done some really good detail work on the internals. Just gonna have to take my word for it because I can't zoom in that far. And of course, sorry, let's have a look at the BF Goodridge tires and those beautiful black rims with that red pinstripe around the outside. Let's see if we can get a nice zoom in on that. Look at that. And look how pumped they are. That stance, <laughs> incredible. Right here, let's take it off the base and chuck it on the track. I'll remove the, sh the shell. Now, to get it off the base, took one screw. So one nice, uh, almost, uh, hardware quality screw, really, really good screw, and that removed it from the base itself. Now, while we're talking about that, on the back of the box, let me quickly show you, it says here, where, where are we? It might not say, it was on the front, sorry, apologies. Here we go, on that tire. I love that, how they say, spares underneath the box. That's pretty cool how they tell you. So, to locate that, you just flip it over, and there it is. You got some spare guides. I think you got some spare pinions too with, a, with some dis descriptions, or a little bit of a description from the company itself. I'll read it to you. This model is fitted with a 12 tooth pinion gear that should work best for standard size tracks. In, the, in this bag are two alternative gears, a 11 tooth and a 13 tooth. Fitting the 11T will give better acceleration and braking effect on short tracks. Fitting the 13T will reduce acceleration but improve top speed on longer tracks. A spare, a, a, a spare pair of braids are also enclosed. That is truly awesome to see and a bit of information if you're a beginner on how to set up your car. Well done, Pioneer. I think that's awesome that you guys have done that. And I'll probably use the bigger gearing because I have got a decent sized track. Now, look at, let's move this. Now, to remove the shell from the chassis, it was three screws. Quite, very, very easy. And today's slot cars are very easy to do a tear down on. And as you can see, we've got the two at the back and one at the front. And we'll go have a closer look in a tick. Rightio, let's see what makes this thing go. Now, let's talk through it. We are a sidewinder, rear wheel drive, driven from the left hand side wheel, rear wheel. We've got a Typhoon motor, we'll zoom in on that. And from memory, without reading it, and I'm going to read it now, is an 18,000 RPM motor at 12 volts, I think, was it? Yeah, 12 volt DC. Quite a um, punchy motor, and you'll see when I'm on my track how good this thing actually goes. Now this is, and I'm going to quickly read some notes, this is Scalatrix Digital Ready, so the DPR chip will plug in there, and you'll remove that bottom section, it's a big plate, and you can put in your DPR chip if you want to run it digital on Scalatrix track. So they've gone the Scalatrix route when it comes to digital, which you know what, they've got to choose somebody and they've chosen Scalatrix, which is really cool. Um, unfortunately for us Carrera guys, you would have to drill holes, make some modifications to the, to the chassis, which I don't recommend. I wouldn't do it because um, it would ruin the car itself. Again, rear wheel drive. Uh, we are running one magnet. It's quite a strong magnet, a bar magnet, right in front of the motor. That's actually quite quite a strong magnet, to be honest with you. A very, very strong magnet. And the removable front and rear bumpers. So they just slip in and out. There's two little pin pinholes there that sort of line it up. And that's pretty cool how you can run with or without. Why would you run without? I don't know. Because if you smash this thing, they're going to come off anyways. So beautiful looking slot car. Let's flip it underneath. I'll take it off its base. And then underneath, it's quite a thin, actually it's quite a thin, very, very thin chassis. And again, you're gonna see, because we've got a nice wide track here, this sits really, really well on the track. Look how wide that is. And again, we are running a 130 scale slot car here. So let's run it upside down, have a look underneath. 
There's our removable DRP, um, sorry, DPR Scalatrix plate. Then you drop in the actual um, decoder itself. So that's cool how that this flip fits in there. You can see the mag running the big bar magnet. You can take that out, it just clips in. And of course, we've got a normal size guide. Now I'm used to the Carrera guides, but this is just your normal size guide running uh, some beautiful braid. Of course, off comes a rear bumper. So a very, very beautiful looking slot car. Now, how does it go? Well, let's find out, because I am going to do a run around the track. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't do any damage to this beautiful thing. So let's take this for a spin around my track. 